morning. Myself, Dr. Baran Jason. I'm going to talk about hypertension, mainly hypertension in surgical patients. As you all know, the significance of treating hypertension. So hypertension, uh, that means you have to, your BP is more than 140-90. If your BP is more than 140-90, you have to seek medical advice. So you have to follow your doctors. So there are a lot of causes for hypertension. Like family history, smoking, stress, then sedentary lifestyle, unhealthy food. Whatever it may be, if your BP is more, it will affect your head to toe. So you have to take medical attention. So consult your doctor, start a lifestyle modification. That means you have to change your lifestyle. Like you have to do regular exercise, avoid unhealthy food, avoid salt. Then main thing, avoid stress. That may induce or increase your BP. Now, coming to the surgical patients. If you are planning to undergo surgery, first thing you have to take your BP drugs regularly. Otherwise, your BP will increase. Similarly, you have to stop smoking. Then avoid stress. If you are, if you are anxious, if you are having a lot of stress, then your BP will increase. So prior to surgery, on the day before surgery, you have to have a good sleep. Then you have to be in a relaxed state. Otherwise, your BP will increase before surgery. Then take your antihypertensive drugs. On the day of surgery also, you have to take your antihypertensive drugs, uh, drugs as per your doctor's advice. Then go to the operation theater in a relaxed state. If you are anxious or if you are in a state of stress, then your BP will increase. So during anesthesia, it is very difficult to give anesthesia for, for you. So the, your anesthetist will postpone your surgery. Then during surgery also, if your BP is high, then uh, that surgery procedure, it will take long time. Uh, for example, if it takes 15 minutes for your, uh, your routine procedure, if your BP is high, then it will take one hour. Similarly, blood loss during surgery, also it will be high when your BP is high. Normally, for a small procedure, if the blood loss is estimated blood loss is 50 ml, if your BP is high, then almost you will lose around 500 ml. Similarly, the duration of surgery also will increase. If your uh, estimated uh, time of surgery is around 30 minutes, if blood loss is more, then it will take around two hours. If the duration of surgery increases, then surgery and anesthesia related complication is more. Like uh, during extubation, it will take long time. Similarly, uh, there is a lot of chance of developing wound infection and procedure related complications. In post-operative period also, if your BP is high, then there is chance of bleeding in the post-operative period. So you may have to undergo re-surgery or uh, wound infection. Then return to normal activity will take long time. So the main thing is prior to surgery, you have to, you have to be in a relaxed mood. You have to take your drugs, avoid smoking. In post-operative period also, you have to be in a relaxed state. Otherwise, your BP will suit up. Then you have you will have a lot of surgery-related complications. So be in a relaxed mood. Follow your doctor's advice. Change your lifestyle. Carefully undergo surgery. Thank you.